Drying the meat and stuff like that. Yeah, well, see, the hardest part about it is, is when you put the meat on the dehydrator. You have to put each piece on one at a time. Mm. You know, I got three dehydrators. So that's twenty-four Man. shells. And, I mean, that's what takes the most amount of time. But they, you know, there's nothing to it really. I'm just lazy. Mm -hmm. Well, you, do you have to let them sit out or something like that no, to I get the flavor? You know, dry it. I'll, I'll cut it. I slice it. Put it in the marinade. Let it soak in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And then I put it on a dehydrator. It takes about three hours for a batch to dry. Oh, man. Yeah, I dump it in a bag, bag it up, weigh it, bag it up, and sell it. I might gotta try that for myself. <laughs> it, it's, it's good enough that the lady that was the food writer for the newspaper wrote an article about it. So. Really? Uh, you should start she still a... buys beef. She still buys turkey from me every time I make something. She buys a couple of Well, that's a business. That's a business move right there. I had a guy that he runs a 7 Eleven right now at my house. Mm -hmm. He said, if, if you'll give me that recipe, I'll manufacture it, package it, and distribute it, and I'll give you 20% of the profit. And I said, man, you don't understand. You know, the recipe is 51% of anything. Yeah. He said, well, I'm going to be doing all the work. I said, well, not without the recipe. Exactly. Twenty percent, not even that big. And so I, I said, he said, well, I just made you an offer. He said, you make me an offer. I said, okay. You give me two hundred and fifty grand in cash mm -hmm. and twenty five cents a bag for every bag you sell until I croak. <laughs> you know, and, and then it's all yours. And he said, well, man, you're out of your mind. I said, well, if you think it's such a good business deal, you know, you know, <laughs> trying to stick it to me is a good business deal. But I'm trying to, you know, you make a reasonable offer. He said, that ain't reasonable, man. I said, I said well, evidently you don't want to go in business. <laughs> but I'm, now, I'm, I've been doing it. I started doing it for like a hobby. Mm -hmm. And I would buy like five pounds of meat. And I would give it away. You know, I mean, I keep a bag of meat. Yeah. And give it away. And uh, I kept playing with the recipe and playing with it. One day a buddy of mine tasted it. <laughs> I said, I don't put any stems or seeds in there with extra weight. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I went like that focus. I said, I go back to a previous life, a previous <laughs> career. And she, she put that in the article in the paper. Oh, so man. I like, come on, man. I was joking. When did you start doing it? Uh, about 10 years ago. I've been selling mm -hmm. it about five years. Oh, okay. Uh, that's uh, and like what I, I'm going on a golf trip. Mm -hmm. So I'll make a big batch of it and sell it. That'll pay for my golf trip. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's where we go through this light and then turn left. Yeah. Okay. How much you be selling for? Six dollars a bag. That? And it's four ounces. Mm hmm. That's better than the stores, to be oh, honest. Yeah. They be charging like $10 a yeah, bag. My wife was just telling me, you need to go up on your price. I said, why do I need to go up on my price? You know, I'm making a profit. Mm hmm. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm doubling my money. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I get my money back and I get, now I make $300 profit. So I don't see any sense in. Damn. Yeah. $300? Wow. Pay word of mouth, friends, mm -hmm. people I know, guys I play golf with. 
I, you know, I know people that buy it, they know I make it out of London Royal. Mm-hmm. And uh, when the sale papers come out in the newspaper on Wednesday, if, if somebody has got me if somebody's got London Broil on sale, I'll get two or three different phone calls. Hey, man, your uh, food line's got London Broil on sale in case you want to make some jerky. Uh, okay. In fact, I went to, and most of the time I buy, I get it on sale for like four ninety nine a pound. Mm-hmm. And, uh, two weeks ago, Kroger had it on sale for two ninety nine a pound. Did you get any? Yeah, so I bought 50 pounds. I was going by a hundred, and my wife said, "No, we don't have enough room in the freezer." <laughs> Do you have a? You should get a um a separate uh deep. I mean, a, uh, what's it called? Uh, a deep freezer. Oh, I got. I oh, got you got one? one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, and it was just something I started. You know, I started doing just for the heck of it. Mm-hmm. Know? Feel you on that? You gotta find your passion. I mean, that's actually that's a whole business right there. Yeah. I would, yeah. I would focus I on sell, that. I sell uh, the the marinade that I soak it in. Mm-hmm. I sell it for like eight dollars a quart, and you can make your own jerky. Or you can just slice your meat and soak mm-hmm. that stuff and dry it. Hmm. One of my golf buddies is there. He always he said, "Hey, Randy, so I got a name for your beef jerky." What did he name it? I said, I said okay. Where are we going to get that? Uh, you can either cut through here, cut through any of these. Okay, down here? Yeah, you can. Uh, he says, I got a name for your beef jerky. I said, okay, what is it? He said, you can call it Uncle Red's Magic Meat. Uncle Red. <laughs> I said, okay. You going with that? Yeah. So hey. I, and, and he said, I even got a slogan for you. I said, okay. And he said, you can't beat Red's meat. I said, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> and he said, well, the only people that will think it's dirty are people with dirty minds. I said, well, that's 90% of the people I know. <laughs> Which way here? Uh, it's, it's up here. Like, you uh, hit the left up here and then hit the right. And so, your... anyway, I, I went home and I, I went online and I designed these business cards. Mm-hmm. And I put, you know, Uncle Red's magic meat. Can't beat Red's meat, Uncle Red proprietor. <laughs> phone number, and email, and all that stuff. And I called my wife and I said, "Baby, look at this business card I designed." And she said, "I said, you got any suggestions, anything?" And she said, "You might want to put beef jerky on there somewhere." <laughs> oh man! <laughs> but I had 500 business cards and they lasted less than a month. Uh-huh. I gave them out. Everybody wanted one. Mm-hmm. I got old. Well, thank care, young man. All right, thank you. Look, good luck to you. Save me some fries. I may be back. All right, I got you. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Anyway, that Uber, that Uber was lit, man. That's the best Uber I ever been in, man. That man worked for he he worked at Beef Jerky. Now I got a clock in. Ain't nobody gonna clock. What I do? <laughs> Were you ready to work or something? <laughs> when are you supposed to get off? 3 30. What's up? <laughs> Man, I wish I had money to tip that dude. Yeah, Bryce, he, uh, mm-hmm. I think he working tonight, too. I think he working tonight, too. <laughs> Those people I work with. Huh? Huh? I'm 
this was just a little life update, y'all. I wanted to, you know, record, you know, how it is when I go to work, you did. Got a right Drew in the cup. I did a little fast signature, it don't even matter. <laughs> Are these my headphones? Yeah, these my headphones. Hey! hey. That was Skippy. She the owner. <laughs> Almost got caught recording. She probably wouldn't care though. But look, y'all. You know, Drew J out here grinding. You dig? You know what I'm saying? Just dropped a musically video today. You know what I'm saying? And I actually recorded that today. So technically, I recorded two videos a day. But that's cool. That's whatever. But anyways, I love y'all. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. It's your boy Drew J. A B C D G H J. Ooh, turn it off. It's all right with me, it's all right with me, babe. Hey, it's all right. Hey, I see your style, babe. Looking, looking so good, I love your smile, babe. Got a nigga coming up like, let's go out, babe. Said you really wanna chill, said you wanna hang out, babe. Well, okay, you know how I do it. Got bag, yeah, I do it. Capture this moment, got flash, yeah, I shoot it.